big and exciting changes coming to Beyond Science, but before that, let's talk about the end of the world. There are a lot of things that could end humanity as we know it, a nuclear war, robots, zombies, McDonald's, and I don't know why, but at least for me, I don't think too much about the possibility of an asteroid smashing into our planet and obliterating us. I think that's way more possible than getting taken out by one of these guys, but I don't worry about the whole asteroid thing very much because for some insane reason, I don't know what it is, I think that NASA or somebody would be able to detect when these things are approaching and then we just launch a space shuttle with the oil drilling team and Bruce Willis will eventually save us all. But this Armageddon scenario is very real and a smaller version of it almost hit us a few days ago, literally. Earlier this week, an asteroid was detected by the University of Arizona's Catalina Sky Survey and missed us by only half the distance from the Earth to the moon, which is within around 125,000 miles of Earth. The asteroid called 2017 AG-13 is between 50 and 111 feet long and when it passed by Earth, it was moving at roughly 35,000 miles per hour. Researchers at Purdue University made a simulator to test the results of the asteroid collision on Earth, and apparently, if the asteroid hits Earth at a 45 degree angle, it would have exploded and released around 700 kilotons of energy. To put this amount of energy into perspective, think about the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. This asteroid collision would have been dozens times more powerful. And guys, don't rest easy and think, okay, missed us, life is good. According to NASA's Near Earth Object Program, there are more than 38 asteroid approaches estimated in January alone. And I get it, this was a smaller asteroid, it would not have killed us all, but let's talk about what happens if we do detect a planet killer rock hurtling towards us? Well, our government has a plan, sort of. On December 30th, 2016, the US government released a 25 page long document called the Near Earth Object Preparedness Strategy. And this document basically outlines the plans in the events that a huge asteroid really does collide with Earth. This plan includes things like detection methods, deflection strategies, and emergency procedures. <laughs> so let's talk about some of these deflection strategies. Some of NASA's deflection plans include using a massive mirror to reflect sunlight at it, hoping that it will burn off a lot of the asteroid. It will try to fly a spaceship near the asteroid and hopefully using its gravity pull to veer it off track. If that fails, NASA could try shooting a rocket at it, and if that doesn't work, yep, we're sending a drilling team to the surface of the asteroid, and we're gonna dig deep and toss a nuke down there. Sound familiar? Of course, we already have a ton of random things hitting Earth every day, but most of these are so small they don't really cause any harm to us, but the point is, it won't always be so small, and at some point, a large asteroid may hit us. An asteroid that is 6.5 miles in diameter could could potentially wipe out anything within 100 miles of the impact site, resulting in horrible after effects like firestorms and an intense greenhouse effect. Although the government has made plans to save mankind from near-Earth objects, their whole project is still pretty unorganized and underfunded. And realistically, according to Lindley Johnson, NASA's planetary defense officer, you'd need about 8 to 10 years advance warning to do something about an asteroid in space. So yeah, maybe it is a good idea to start finding a home elsewhere in the universe, just in case. Also, if a man-killing asteroid is coming and we really have no way of deflecting it, which I don't think we do, then I'm kind of hoping that we just don't detect it. I mean, can you imagine, let's say in two weeks, a huge asteroid is coming and it's going to kill us all and we have no way to avoid it. Think about how crazy that would be. People will be doing whatever they want. It'd be chaotic. So I'm thinking if we can't avoid it, you know what? Just, just let it hit and that's it. No warning. Boom. But let me know what you guys think. Do you really feel like we have the necessary means to deflect a huge asteroid if it's coming towards Earth? Also, let me know if you agree with me. If it is coming, if a huge man killer asteroid is coming and we have no way to stop it, do you even want to know? Also, guys, I've got something else I'm really excited to talk about. As you know, I cover a lot of topics and sometimes I can't go into details too much because I don't want to make these videos overly long. And as much as I want to, YouTube stats are pretty clear that most people, um, they don't want to watch videos that are more than 10 minutes. But I have found a way to dive into the materials much more deeper, giving you guys the fuller scope and really digging into the most interesting topics that we love. Not just asking the big questions, but answering them as well. And this could happen by getting a whole team of researchers working on this stuff. So at Beyond Science, we now have a team of 12 people working on a Beyond Science magazine. They're checking sources, gathering more info, details, and research, and putting it all together. You'll be able to read it offline on your iPad or smartphone anywhere you want. And lie at Starbucks or in the bathroom at Starbucks. This magazine is one of the most ambitious projects we've ever taken here at Beyond Science. It is the first digital magazine to investigate and report Report things that science really can't explain. And the larger it becomes, the more journalists we can hire to investigate and study with an open mind all the crazy things we talk about on this channel. Our vision is to build a community of open-minded people asking big questions and therefore pushing humanity forward. So because of that, I have a 30 second favor to ask you guys. I have a link in the description box below and this will take you to a site called Thunderclap where you can help us turn that vision into a reality. It takes less than a minute and it will really help me spread the word on this. So thank you guys so much. I'm really excited about this. Thank you for watching this video. 
See you later. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Just want to let you guys know that there are some very big and exciting changes coming to Beyond Science, but before that, let's talk about the end of the world. There are a lot of things that could end humanity as we know it, a nuclear war, robots, zombies, McDonald's, and I don't know why, but at least for me, I don't think too much about the possibility of an asteroid smashing into our planet and obliterating us. I think that's way more possible than getting taken out by one of these guys, but I don't worry about the whole asteroid thing very much because for some insane reason, I don't know what it is. I think that NASA or somebody would be able to detect when the these things are approaching and then we just launch a space shuttle with an oil drilling team and Bruce Willis will eventually save us all. But this Armageddon scenario is very real and a smaller version of it almost hit us a few